Fact, electric. And did you know that electric cars broke speed records? And did you know that, in fact, the first, uh, first ever speeding ticket was for an electric car? But then the further reach from combustion cars took over. But now, battery technology has, has advanced, and the capabilities of these electric cars are improving by the day. Soon, electric cars will conquer the streets again. History will become the future. It's even come so far that next year, there will be an electric from the one series. And in the wake of this championship, smaller, ser uh, smaller electric cars will drive in the ECD racing. My name is Lennox van der Boom, and I'm the CEO of Lawrence Motors. And in the next few minutes, I will show how you, as capital investors, can benefit from investing $750,000 into our company. I'll start off with an overview of the market. Our product, how are we going to market this product, how are we going to produce this, and finally, how are we going to make a profitable business out of this? This is our market opportunity, e-city racing. In the way to Formula E, this, will, this series will drive in small city centers, and they even will do a stadium tour. And in the series, Tim and Junior will drive there. And they will inspire Wim, the race enthusiast. We often, we often vote Tim and Wim what they expect of their, of their race car. Starting with Tim and Junior, well, they want a perfect handling, fast cornering, high power to weight ratio car with a price tag between thirty and fifty thousand dollars. Wim just wants to drive for fun and doesn't have a lot of time. So he wants a play to play like experience with a high power to weight ratio car with a low environmental impact. He is willing to spend between twenty and forty thousand dollars. This is what we can offer him. Our car is full four wheel driven 173 kilos, and with a downforce and 144 power, great horsepower, you can imagine it corners very, very fast. Well, at the base of our model are Junior and Tim. And to assure them our economic driving position, we build the car completely surrounding them. To assure their economic driving position, as I mentioned. But to keep them safe, we have surround them, and we are surrounding them by a full car monocle, because, of course, safety and quality are really important to us and to Tim, Junior and Wim. This has been analyzed thoroughly to keep them safe under any circumstances. We even are uh, subject to approval for the FIA F3 safety norm. Well, here you see our base model and all in the web diagram you see all the factors indicated by Tim and Wim. And here you see its performance. But how does it do compared to our competitors? Well, this is our main competitor, and as you can see, it outperforms us in every single way, or at least at the performance, uh, performance vectors. But we can do better. We designed, for instance, we designed the aerodynamic package using computational fluid dynamics and verifying this in the wind tunnel. And also, we've done some real life testing. But that's not all. You can get a 30% upgrade, 30% more power and an advanced control system. And this car now outperforms its competitors in every single way. <laughs> These upgrades and maintenance can be done very easily due to the modular and the accessible design of our car. It's so easy that upgrades and maintenance can do, be done by the customer themselves. But we can do it for them with three different service packages, silver, gold, and lithium. This last one contains a within 48 hour repair service, track configurator, and even on track advice. But we're not there yet. We can offer something with a personal touch. We're from Delft, so we quite like this one. <laughs> but we understand that you might think this is better, or maybe something more like this. <laughs> so you might think this car would sell itself. But just to be sure, we've developed a marketing campaign, starting with social media and advertisements in modern stuff magazines. We also have, a, have, a, have developed a marketing campaign more fit to a specific car. We will provide our car to the race of champions. Driving in stadiums, like in the e-city racing, but now these guys get a chance 
to drive our car. So this marketing, our marketing campaign and business will start in the Benelux and in Germany and will steadily grow in the next few years throughout the Western European market. Our headquarter will be based in Delft. And in order to distribute, distribute the car throughout the whole of Europe, we give, agreed to Tesla to use their dealership network. So let's zoom in on the workshop in Delft. Here all the parts come in. We've got a big clean room right here where we uh, will do all the comp uh, composites production. An assembly room where we, uh, the final assembly of the car will be done. And as you might have seen, we have a quality control room, uh, control room as well. And as you request it, I want to elaborate on that a little bit. We, as Lord, uh, it's, it's really important uh, to, uh, to have a good quality management system. And therefore, we introduced a quality management system according to the AS9100 series, the norms. And to give you a better insight of how we implemented this into our quality pr uh, procedure, uh, uh, I will do this according to the following framework. Control, control of the quality management system is only feasible when, the person, when your personnel is fully trained. Therefore, our personnel is fully trained and certified to do their specific task. From our suppliers, we demand at least an ISO 9001 or even better, an AS9100 certification, like our supplier Fokker. Additionally, for electronics, we demand an inter international standard for, uh, for printed circuit boards. There it was, circuit boards. And, of course, to measure whether our, whether our parts are within their uh, specific, specific tolerances, we need accurate tools. Therefore, we will calibrate our tools every 2 to 12 months, depending on our use, and this will be done by Atlas Coppo tools. The work packages do have, all, all have a standardized procedure. This will be done to uh, prevent faults and mitigate the risk of rectification costs. Also, each employee has his own set of specific tasks so that he can with save time and cost through a learning experience. And throughout the whole chain, yes. all critical parts, like the electronics and high voltage components such as the accumulator, will be 100% traceable. And in order to keep the supply chain uh, in order, we meet our contractors every, uh, four times a year in this so-called so QLTC meetings to also keep the quality in their process in order. <coughs> and that's, that would bring me to our cost, because quality is also in the cost. And here you see our projected profit sales. We will sell 15 cars in the first year and 170 in year, no, in year six. But that is, that is not all. An incremental part of our sales profit are the spare parts, upgrades, and service packages. And that brings me to our net present value. We will start our business at the end of this year, and after two years, we will be cash flow positive. In year five, in 2018, we will be break even. And as you can see, for the initial investment, we need about one and a half million dollars. First, this half will be funded by private money and banks, but for the other half, we need you investing $750,000. But what do you get in return for that? In return, you will get a 30% equity share in our company and a 13% return on investment annually over the next six years. So, to wrap up, why should you invest in Lawrence Motors? We've identified a promising and expanding market. We've got a product that fits all the demands of our customer. We've got certified suppliers and a duly equipped factory. And together with the diverse marketing campaign, all we need to complete this picture is you. So together we will make history the future.